Everything that we can find in the letters of J.R.R. Tolkien indicates that he, you know, said outright, I have nothing more to say about Hobbits. He was sort of uh, cajoled, seemingly, into writing a sequel to The Hobbit, which of course became Lord of the Rings. No! The thing that's so interesting about it is that he had to end up changing The Hobbit to make it compatible with Lord of the Rings. The original version of The Hobbit, the ring is going to be a lot more dangerous. Gollum is not like a psychopath. <laughs> He's a little bit funnier. Um, the version of The Hobbit that you buy on the bookshelf now is the one from the, the 50s, not the one from the 30s. You know, it, it's the kind of thing that a casual reader might not even notice. And that created the ability to do Lord of the Rings. <laughs> which without The Lord of the Rings, you don't have Harry Potter. And I think that that is amazing, the fact that he was just sort of sitting on this other idea and was like, eh, don't want to do A Hobbit too." You know, it, I, I describe <laughs> Lord of the Rings as being him sort of selling out. Bilbo Baggins is a little bit like sitting out the action, whereas in Lord of the Rings, he's like taking you to the action. Very conventional, heroic stuff. That difference is, is, is super fascinating.